Hey, God bless you, my friend. This is Sister Sharon. Today, by the Spirit of God, I have a warning for all confessing bishops in the American church. We have an epidemic of adultery that is running rampant from the east, north, west, and south. But I want you, brothers and sisters, to please take in consideration a very sobering statement of Jesus Christ that is found in Matthew chapter 24, verse 37, where he clearly tells us that as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be when he returns. And what was going on in the days of Noah that is pervasive right now, and that was adultery. They were giving themselves unto marriages. And we know, beloved, that they had to be illegal marriages in the sight of God because God completely wiped out the earth. Because adultery, my friend, is the, in, the including of a third party where that person is having sexual intercourse with, with someone else's covenant spouse. That person has already been taken. That person has already come under a covenant. They have exchanged vows before the living God. And that vow has not been fulfilled yet unless one of the parties, according to 1 Corinthians chapter 7, verse 11, to the married, Paul said, I give this command. He gave a command to those who are married. He said, not I, but the Lord. This is 1 Corinthians chapter 7, verse 11. A wife must not separate from her husband or a husband from the wife. But if he or she does, you must remain unmarried or else be reconciled to your husband, and the husband must not divorce his wife. This is Bishop Gary Oliver. Gary Oliver is a very prolific psalmist. I first became aware of Gary Oliver in the 90s. He became extremely popular in many Pentecostal and charismatic churches, and hands down, he was one of my favorite worship or psalmist worship leaders. He was amazing. He had a, a beautiful song called Praise the Lord. And many of you will know that song. It was awesome. And at that time in the 90s, Gary Oliver was married to Tony Oliver. And we will find this is a woman named Naomi in this picture. Gary Oliver was just married to her in the month of May, 2021. However, in 2018, Gary Oliver was married to this woman. Her name was Kim, and he regarded her as Lady Kim, First Lady Kim, and now is First Lady Naomi. Beloved, the scriptures teach one, that bishop is not a title. It is an administration of someone who gave oversight to the fellowships in the early church that were inside of homes. So a bishop with the little b, not a capital B, and if you look into the archives of my videos, you will see where the Spirit of God has given me understanding to give to the body of Christ that this is, a first of all, a pseudo title. A bishop, little b, not a capital, it was not a title, it was a function and administration, and the scriptures clearly tell us in 1 Titus, excuse me, 1 Timothy chapter 3 verse 2, if a bishop desires the office of an overseer or a bishop, that man must be blameless and he must be the husband of one wife. Bishop Gary Oliver is on his third, actually his second civil marriage, but his third wife. So we find that the scriptures 
are in opposition to Gary Oliver's current situation that is so pervasive all over America because the leadership have fallen away from living, not preaching and teaching, but living the word. This is a very serious topic, brothers and sisters. If your covenant spouse is not dead and you have departed from that marriage, Paul clearly gives an instruction that you must remain unmarried or be reconciled to your covenant pers uh, partner because your vows, your covenant has not been fulfilled until one of you dies. We find in Romans chapter seven, we find that this is laid out in the scriptures to put guardrails on our hearts so that we don't sin against God in this serious matter of marriage. Romans chapter seven, it speaks to us that if a woman or husband, this is, let me be, be quote it, Romans seven, two verse three. Do you not know brothers and sisters, for I'm speaking to those who know the law, that the law has authority over someone only as long as that person lives. For example, by law, a married woman is bound to her husband as long as he is alive. But if her husband dies, she is released from the law that binds her to him. So then if she has sexual relations with another man while her husband is still alive, she is called an adulteress. But if her husband dies, she is released from that law and is not an adulteress if she marries another man. Now, I don't know if Gary Oliver's new civil wife, Naomi, has been married previously. But Gary Oliver, who is the bishop in his circle, has been. And his wife, Tony, his real wife, is still alive. Brothers and sisters, let no one deceive you. We are subject that follow Christ to his teachings. And the word says in 2 John chapter 1, verse 9, please hear me very closely, brothers and sisters. Please hear me, all of you young men calling yourselves bishops, all of you men who are or, you're ordaining other men, and you are saying you are their covering. You are their father in the faith. You are their bishop. But they have had two and three wives. How is it possible when the word of God is clear that a bishop should be the husband of one wife and he must be blameless? What is going on here, brothers and sisters? We got to wake up. It is not God's will that no man perish. God loves Gary Oliver. Listen, friends, this is his uh, wedding day. This was a very recent uh, civil marriage and celebration. But beloved, do not be deceived. Hear what the word of the Lord says clearly. Second John 1 verse 9. Remain in Christ's teachings. Anyone who runs ahead without remaining in the teachings of Christ does not have God. Whoever remains in his teachings has both the Father and the Son. Jesus said in John chapter 7 verse 16, My teaching is not my own, Jesus replied. It comes from him who sent me. John chapter 15 verse 6. If a man abide not in me, he is cast forth as a branch and is withered and men gather them and cast them into the fire and they are burned. Precious brothers and sisters, the teachings of Jesus Christ that we find in Matthew chapter 19 and 9, which 
I want you to stay tuned. I am going to extrapolate. I am going to take that, that controversial text where many people are believing that if your spouse commits adultery, you can remarry. It is a lie from the pit of hell. God has given all of us mercy and the dispensation of grace. He extends forgiveness to us. We must forgive and extend mercy to our spouses if they have harmed us. But let us hear the matter where the teachings of Jesus are clear. Mark chapter 10, verse 1 through 12. What God has joined together through matrimony and the one flesh union, let no man separate it. Jesus said in Matthew 19 and 9, that if a man, if, if anyone, my friend, divorces and marries another, you commit adultery. Luke chapter 16 and 18, anyone who divorces his wife, marries another woman, commits adultery. And the man who marries a divorced woman, woman commits adultery. My brothers and sisters in Christ, hear me, hear what the spirit of God is clearly teaching us today. The teachings of Jesus Christ is exactly what the apostles were teaching. They were going from house to house, breaking bread and teaching what they saw and what they heard from Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ clearly has taught us divorce and remarrying another person when you have a living spouse, covenant spouse is adultery. If you would like more understanding on this very serious topic, I do have a playlist right here on my channel. If you look on the channel, you will find maybe a dozen or so videos on this topic. If you visit my ministry website, you will find other men and elders who are very clear in their teachings. Friends, let no one deceive you. You will find resources to help you. Do not be deceived. Brother Gary and Naomi, Sister Kim, Kimberly, Sister Tony, everyone involved here, we must be sober. God is merciful, God is patient, and he is kind. And it is not his will that we fall into a ditch and believe the lies of the evil one. Gary Oliver, your wife is still living. May God have mercy on us all. And those of you that are so-called bishops that are watching this video, where art thou? Enough has been said. Till next time, God have mercy on us all.